Good afternoon and happy Thursday. Happy June 1st. Happy first day of meteorological summer. Today is looking like a pretty decent day. Those temperatures warm again for us across southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa. We are tracking a chance for some rain later on today. Taking a look at our Lucent Auto cameras across the region you can see that mix of clouds and sunshine across the area. Definitely not looking the nicest as we look toward the south from here in northwest Rochester. However, it's overall not too bad at the moment. Right now, temperature at 83 degrees feels like 84 winds from the south at 10 miles per hour. Those temperatures across the region in the 70s and 80s, some upper 80s, Plainview, Winona at 88, Rushford at 89. So definitely a little bit of a warm one for parts of us today. And taking a look at those current winds anywhere from about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And radar, while well, we are showing this kind of uh, sh Band of showers moving into parts of northeast Iowa and some showers popping up across the area. But looking at our surface observations, we're not really seeing any of that moisture making its way to the ground just yet. And today is the start of meteorological summer, and as we head through a meteorological summer, we're going to see those temp average high temperatures increasing till we get into about the middle of July, and then we start to see them on the uh, downward trend as we head into August. For today's forecast, a high of 85 degrees, partly cloudy skies, those isolated showers and storms throughout this afternoon and evening, winds from the south between about 10 and 20 miles per hour. Those highs today kind of spread throughout the 80s, some low to mid and even upper 80s for parts of us. And what to expect for our weather headlines? Well, tonight we're going to see those isolated storms continuing for a few hours into the nighttime hours, but then we are going to see those clear out for our next chance for rain tomorrow. Mild temperatures overnight, temperatures Overall, looking to remain above average and warm throughout the next week. Precipitation wise, tracking some strain isolated storm chances as well. For future track, heading through the afternoon by about 1.30, starting to see more of those showers kind of bubbling up across the region. Continuing across parts of the afternoon and into the evening by about 6.30, Albert Lee possibly seeing a little cell across that region. And then a little bit of a break as we head through the overnight hours into our Friday before we start to see some showers and thunderstorms bubbling up once again for tomorrow afternoon. For our temperature tracker over the next seven days, well, the average high for June 1st, 74 degrees. We're about 10 degrees above average for our high today, and we're just going to continue to see those temperatures above average. For our upcoming rain chances, some isolated showers and thunderstorms again for Friday, some stray showers and thunderstorms for our Saturday before we see a little bit more quiet conditions. For tonight, a low of 66 degrees with those isolated showers and storms. Winds from southeast between about 5 and 10 miles per hour. Those lows in the low to mid 60s for us tonight, pretty mild and comfortable for those lows. For tomorrow, high of 85 once again for that high. Isolated showers and storms again, and those winds relatively similar today to today from the southeast between about 5 and 10 miles per hour. Those highs in the mid 80s for us for our Friday. Looking at our extended forecast, that stray chance for Saturday, Sunday, looking to dry out, mostly sunny skies, that high 88 degrees. Before we start to see those temperatures dropping a little bit, some low 80s by next Tuesday and Wednesday, but overall looking like a relatively decent week ahead, Jess. Yeah, when you compare this to some of the weather we have in Minnesota, it's uh, pretty warm out there. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a trend we're having. Thank you, Sawyer.